Hey everybody and welcome back to PE Design 10. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery and today we're going to talk about splitting points. What is splitting points? What are you talking about Sue? That's okay. We're going to do this and you guys will go wow. So if you are digitizing away, hold down the shift to make your perfect circle and you decide you want this to be changed now this is a closed shape and we'd like it to be an open shape so a closed shape is everything all in one and an open shape is exactly that open so you can go to your node mode as i always call it now you can move them but you can't separate them so the best thing to do is go to view no go to the shapes or if you have it already in here I actually don't but this is what we want and there's a little knife and it says split at point so let's we have one selected if you don't have anything selected it's not going to work so select the point that you want and you can see this is a nice bezier curve and split at point and watch what happens the first thing that you notice is that the um, fill disappeared uh, that's fine because we now have an open shape although it doesn't look like an open shape does it but we can move the points and now we do have an open shape so the split at point is only going to work for outlines not for fills now you can create the shape that you want and you have like a half of a bezier the because it literally split it and you can digitize some fill if you want but that's how you split points now this is going to work on every object that you have that you digitize yourself that is uh, closed and we want to make it open so let's just for an example let's pick this one and hold shift and make it all nice and there we go and I'm just going to leave in the the fill stitch just for now actually that's a fantastic shape isn't it I like it so let's go into our node mode so we can select our nodes select it and we'll see how many nodes are I want you guys to take notice too that this is you, you know a pre-done um, shape and look how many nodes there are there, there's not a whole lot um, if I had seen you know a whole bunch of nodes here that would be kind of different but because they only put one two three it makes a perfect curve now you can of course always go in and add if you wanted to change the shape but we're gonna split it so why don't we split it at top so you select it you go under shape or have it in your ribbon and we're gonna split at point and again our fill stitches went away because we now have an open shape now it does still doesn't look like anything but I know this is the one I selected so you could move it around I not sure what that is but you guys get the idea so that is how you split points here inside PE Design 10. Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to like this video to let me know that you want more PE Design 10 videos just like this and classes too. Subscribe to the channel. Get everyone to subscribe so we can keep on this digitizing adventure together. So I'll see you guys in the next video.